So one of the fun games that movie fans have been playing on the internet these days is trying to guess who's the Wicked Witch of the West. From the shots we have seen, it looks like either Mila Kunis or Rachel Weisz is under all that makeup, and the trailer tries to deepen the mystery with conflicting motivations for our witches. Of course, there are the Oz diehards who go on all the comment sections and message boards to tell the rest of us with disdain it's obviously Kunis, but it was still fun to try and guess. That is, until Disney went and ruined the mystery themselves. That's right, the recent addition of Oz the Great and Powerful mugs to the Disney Store website has unmistakably revealed that Kunis is indeed the Wicked Witch of the West. All right, Oz diehards, go ahead and gloat. But now that we do know for sure it's Kunis under all that makeup and now fake nose, allow me to indulge in another fun internet game, complaining about it. Margaret Hamilton did an iconic turn as the Wicked Witch of the West back in 1939, and one of the great aspects of her performance was that she was a heightened fantasy nightmare version of Dorothy's real-life neighbor who wanted to put Toto to sleep. Again, Oz diehards, I know that's not the way it goes in the book, but I'd wager that the vast majority of audiences are only familiar with the 1939 movie version, so a movie prequel would be smart to build on that canon rather than the original novel. But regardless, I can't help but feel that Sam Raimi has cast two actors with the depth and range of a soda cap for his supposed transformational epic. Hey, I love James Franco and Mila Kunis as much as the next moviegoer, but one has to admit they give Oz the Great and Powerful a high school production vibe. It's like Emma Stone over in Gangster Squad. She tried her best, but the killing's Muriel Enos acted circles around her. And speaking of high school, what's with making the Wicked Witch of the West look like she picked up her costume in Hot Topic? When we first saw the costume from far away, it did look kind of cool, but this new poster reveals cleavage? Yeah, because a leather skull cap and cleavage is a really great look. Personally, I think that tornado of fire from the trailer is way cooler than green boobs, but hey, Mystique was a hit. But come on, Raimi, give the Wicked Witch of the West some dignity. After all, Charlize Theron was able to pull off her evil queen role with class. So, do you think Mila Kunis has the acting chops to compellingly portray Theodora's transformation into the Wicked Witch of the West? And should some respect have been paid to Margaret Hamilton's performance? Plus, now that you know who's going to become the Wicked Witch of the West, do you think maybe Disney shouldn't have built their whole ad campaign around that mystery? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.